catch them all. Hey guys, Pokedown here. Currently, there are over 800 Pokemon that exist within the Pokemon franchise. And each one of these individual Pokemon has an original design, its own backstory, and a Pokemon type. And speaking of Pokemon types, since Pokemon X and Y, there are 18 different typings a Pokemon could be. As well as only having a singular typing, it is possible for Pokemon to have a dual typing, and a lot of them actually have this already. With the capability of a Pokemon having two types, unique type combinations can and have already been made. Not all type combinations have a Pokemon to represent them, but that's fine because today, I'm actually going to be talking about every Pokemon that currently has a unique type combination. And yes, I said currently, because when more Pokemon eventually get released, not all the type combinations on this list may still be unique. But for now, they are, so I'm gonna mention them. Also, all the information for this video has been provided from Bulbapedia, so I'll link my sources in the description. Oh, and for this video, I've determined where each Pokemon belongs by going off of their primary typing. You know, just so there's no confusion. But with all that being said, let's get started with the video. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the normal type. Currently, there are only four unique type combinations in this category, so let's see what they are. Alright, so the only normal and ground type Pokemon is Diggersby. For normal and water, we have the Pokemon B-Barrel. And one generation after this Pokemon debuted, we had the unique typing of normal and grass. And the Pokemon that represents this type combination are Dealing and Sawsbuck. And finally for the normal type, we have a Pokemon that is also part of Dragon. And that is of course, Drampa. So, the next typing we'll be talking about is Fighting, and for this, there are only 3 Pokemon who have Fighting as their primary type, along with a second typing that is unique. So once again, let's see who they are. The only Pokemon to represent the Fighting type along with the Flying type is of course the Gen 6 Pokemon Horlucha, and the other 2 Pokemon both came 1 gen after Horlucha. They are Marshadow, who as well as being part Fighting type is also Ghost, and Crabominable, who is part Ice type. Alright, so next up we have the flying type and there's actually only one Pokemon in this category that has flying as their primary typing, with it also being a unique type. And that is Tornadus, and if you guys didn't know, Tornadus is the only pure flying type. Poison type is up next, and there are quite a few Pokemon to talk about here, so let's get started. Krogunk, along with its evolution Toxicroak, are the only Pokemon to have the typing Poison and Fighting. Another evolution line with a unique typing is the Zubat evolution line. And of course, the type they share is Poison and Flying. Another Pokemon from Kanto that has kept its specific type combination all this time is Nidoking. Well, and Nidoqueen. But they're pretty much the same Pokemon, so I say it counts. As well as that, we also have an evolution line that shares the typing of Poison and Fire. And of course, they are Salazzle and Salandit. Okay, so next up is the ground type, and in this category, we have even more unique type combinations. Firstly, we have Stunfisk, and as you guys may know, it is the only Pokemon to be ground and electric type. Another unique ground typing is ground and psychic, and the evolution line that shares this type is Baltoy and Claydol. And finally for the ground type, we have Sandile, Crocorock, and Crocodile. And they are all ground and dark types. So yeah, that's it for the ground type, moving on. So now, let's talk about the rock type, and there are loads of unique type combinations to talk about here. To start off, we have the legendary Pokemon Terrakion, and it's the only Pokemon to be both a rock and fighting type. 
another legendary-ish Pokemon we have, I say legendary-ish because it's an Ultra Beast, is Nihaligo. And of course, Nihaligo is the only Pokemon to have the Rock and Poison type. Next up, let's talk about a bunch of fossil Pokemon. Lilip and Cradily are the only Pokemon to have the Rock and Grass types, and furthermore, both of the Kalos fossil Pokemon have unique typings too. Both Amora and Aurorus share the typing of Rock and Ice. And as for the Tyrant Evolution line, they are Rock and Dragon. In Generation 7, we received a few Alolan forms with unique typings, and one of these is the Alolan Geodude Evolution line, and they share the Rock and Electric type. Finally for this category, Tyranitar and its Mega Evolution share the unique type combination of Rock and Dark. But that's it for the Rock type, let's move on. Coming up next, we have a few creepy crawlies. Of course, I'm talking about bugs. For this type, there are three Pokemon who have bug as their primary typing, who also have a unique type combination. So, let's take a look at them. Kicking it off, we have the Hoenn Pokemon Shedinja, and it has the typing of Bug and Ghost. As well as that, we have Larvesta and Volcarona, who share the Bug and Fire typing, a type that I personally really like. Another evolution line that shares the same type combination is the Cutie Fly evolution line, and both of these Pokemon are Bug and Fairy type. But yeah, that's it for Bug. Ghost is the next type that we'll be talking about, and there are three Pokemon who have the primary typing of Ghost, who also have a unique type. So, let's kick it all off with the original Ghost, Gengar. Gengar, its Mega and its pre-evolutions, all share the typing of Ghost and Poison. And surprisingly, we've never had another Pokemon that has shared this type. Another ghost Pokemon with a unique type combination is the legendary Giratina, and it is a ghost and dragon. And finally, we have Mimikyu, who as we all know, has the typing of ghost and fairy. After ghost, we have the steel type, and there are only two Pokemon in this category that have unique typing. So, let's see who they are. First off, we have the Kalos Pokemon Honedge and its entire evolution line. And of course, these Pokemon are Ghost and Steel types. A typing that a lot of people find to be pretty amazing. The other Pokemon that holds a unique combo is the Sinnoh Legend Dialga. Who, of course, is a Steel and a Dragon type. So, not many for Steel. But let's move on to the next type. Coming up next, we have the Fire type, and there's a couple of Pokemon in this category that have really unique typings. And let's start it off with the more bizarre typing of Fire and Water, which of course belongs to the legendary Volcanion. Another legendary with a unique typing is Heatran, which is a Fire and Steel type. Also, one Fire type that has another cool combo is Marcargo. And as you guys probably know, it's part rock type as well as fire. There's also a fire type out there which is part normal type. And obviously, since I'm mentioning it in this video, it's another unique combination. And the Pokemon that represents this type is Litleo and its evolution Pyro. But that wraps it up for the fire type, so let's move on. Like fire, another well-known type is water, and it's actually the type that has the most Pokemon. And because there are so many water types, there aren't many that have truly unique type combinations. However, there are three of them, so let's take a look. Kicking it off, we have the more well-known combination of water and grass, and the Pokemon that represents this typing is the Lotad Evolution line. Another unique combo is water and steel, and the Pokemon that has this type is the Sinnoh starter Empoleon. Finally for this category, we have Water and Ghost, which is represented by Frillish and Jellicent. We 
we've had fire and water, so of course up next is grass, and to be honest, there aren't a lot of unique grass type combinations left. However, there are two, so let's take a look at them. Firstly, we have another Sinnoh starter, and that is Torterra. I imagine most of you guys know, but for those who don't, as well as being part grass type, Torterra is ground type as well, meaning that if it's hit by one snowflake, this thing's dead. Speaking of snowflakes, grass and ice is another unique combo, and it's represented by the Pokemon Snova, Abomasnow, and Mega Abomasnow. But that's it for this category, let's move on to the next type. My personal favourite type is up next, it's Electric. There are quite a few Pokemon in this category that have unique typings, so let's get right into this one. Let's start off by talking about Helioptile and its evolution Heliolisk. And of course, these lizard Pokemon are the only Electric and Normal type. Another Pokemon with a unique typing is actually an Alolan form, and it is Alolan Raichu. Alolan Raichu is an electric and psychic type Pokemon, and I gotta say, this is a great combo. Okay, so I know I said that Electric had a lot of unique typings, but technically the last few belong to the same Pokemon. I'm talking about Rotom. Rotom's regular form itself is unique, being an electric and ghost type. But some of its other forms also offer some different combinations. Rotom Heat is part fire type, Rotom Mo is part grass type, and finally, Rotom Frost is part ice type. But that's it for electric, so let's move on with the video. The ice type is another typing that has a lot of Pokemon with unique combinations. So again, let's get right into it. The Swinub Evolution line are Pokemon that a lot of people love, and maybe you guys didn't know, but they also share the unique typing of Ice and Ground, a typing that no other Pokemon holds. Another cool combination is Ice and Ghost, and this dual type is represented by the Sinnoh Pokemon Frostlass. This Pokemon is pretty feminine, just like the next two, Smoochum and Jinx, who both also hold a unique type combination of Ice and Psychic. Finally for the Ice type, we have a few Alolan forms, and they are Alolan Ninetales, whose type is Ice and Fairy, and of course, the Alolan Sandshrew evolution line which is Ice and Steel. Coming up next, we have a type that includes some of the strongest Pokemon. I am of course talking about Dragon, and there are a couple of Dragons out there with unique combos. Let's kick it off with a legendary Dragon, Kyurem. And as most of you guys know, this Pokemon as well as its other forms is a Dragon and Ice type. Another strong Dragon with a different combo is pseudo-legendary komo -O and its pre-evolution hakamo -O. And both of these Pokemon are Dragon and Fighting types. Finally for Dragon, we have a Mega Evolution, and this Mega belongs to Altaria. Mega Altaria isn't only a Dragon type, but it's also part Fairy as well, and I gotta say, we need more Pokemon with this combination. The second but last typing I'm going to be talking about is the Dark type, and with this typing comes a couple of unique combos. Firstly, we have Pornyard and its evolution Bisharp, and both these Pokemon hold the typing of Dark and Steel. Not the best type to face off against a fighting Pokemon with, but nevertheless, it is unique. Another unique typing is Dark and Ice, and the Pokemon that represents this type is Sneasel and its evolution Weavile. And finally for the Dark type, we have Alolan Rattata and Alolan Raticate. And of course, this evolution line shares the combination of Dark and Normal. But hey, that's it for Dark, let's move on to the final type. Finally, let's talk about Fairy, and there's actually only one unique type combination for this, and it is shared by Togetic and Togekiss. Of course, it is Fairy and Flying. So yeah, that's it for Fairy. 
But anyway guys, with that being said, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, be sure to tell me down in the comments if any of these combinations surprised you. But with all that being said, for now, I've been Pokedan, you've been amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.